In both film and digital images, shadow areas are often darker, and lighter areas are more washed out than what we actually see through our eyes. This spectrum of light, ranging from dark to bright, is often referred to as the dynamic range. To address this issue, Photoshop High Dynamic Range Images, also known as HDR images, can help us create a photo that represents the full dynamic range visible to the human eye. This is done by merging three or more images of an identical subject or scene taken at different exposures. Before using the Merge to HDR command, you'll need to take enough photos of the scene to capture the full dynamic range. The number can vary, but start with at least three and up to as many as seven depending on the dynamic range of your subject or scene. When taking your photos, following a few guidelines will increase your chances for a successful merged image. Use a tripod to ensure all the photos are identical. To get different exposures in your photos, I suggest varying the shutter speed instead of the aperture. Using the aperture to vary your exposures will produce a different depth of field for each photo. This could result in a lower quality image when you merge the photos. Make sure that nothing is moving in your photo area and keep the lighting consistent throughout all the photos. For example, don't use a flash in some shots and not in others. After you've taken your photos and saved them as digital files, it's time to merge them. Let's step through that process. If you like, you can use the HDR practice lesson files included with this lesson, or you can follow along with Suzanne while working on your own images. Open the file menu, and from the Automate submenu, select Merge to HDR.